Hi guys, it's Ray. Today I am going to do two trays back to back. I have everything mixed to do two of them, so I'm hoping I can move through quick enough to get both done before I start to have issues with my resin. So I'm going to jump right in. What I've mixed up is some black alumilite dye, some white alumilite dye, some pearl white mica. This will be for the second tray. Some pink mica, rose colored for the second tray. I have some gold flake mixed up. And I'm going to mix up some um, gold alcohol ink. I didn't mix that first because um, it's got to be shaking really well before it gets mixed in. So that's the last thing I had to still mix. So this one is just going to be black, gold, and clear. I wasn't really sure how the metallic was going to mix in, so that was also why I held off. Just in case it did anything weird, I didn't want it not ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour just a little bit of clear in the center. I think I'm just going to let this one, kind of in an oblong fashion, work its way out from the center. So I'm going to do some black right into the middle of that. Um, this mold, I believe, is like 11 by 7. And this is the gold leaf, which I put a big piece of gold leaf in here, so I may still have some chunky parts. And so far the resin is staying cool, so I'm hopeful that it's not going to become a problem. I'm hoping if I just keep layering in that it'll push itself out and fill the entire mold. So I'm going to do another round clear. Let's see if I can push the center out. I'm going to do... A little drizzle of the gold. And I think before this spreads anymore, I'm just going to drizzle this gold right around the edge of that original clear. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more clear. And some more black. And the gold leaf. I'm do quite a bit of the gold leaf this time. I'm going to leave just a little in the cup for the very last step. So you can see where the leaf's a little chunky here and it might be actually holding up the spread. Here as well. Make a little clearer. black. I do need a little bit of this black for the next cup, or yeah, I'm not working on cups for the next tray, so I'm going to reserve some of that. Whoops. I'm going to put more of this gold in here. Oh. 
almost lost the stuck from that gold. I am slightly off center, so I'm going to try and encourage it to flow the other way without dipping out of the mold. It is slowly working its way this way, so I'm going to pour the rest of this gold leaf in. I don't know where I put the stick from the gold. I think it's the one I used in the black to move that gold leaf. So I'm just going to get all the rest of this in the center. put any heat onto this mold whatsoever so I'm gonna run around that black paint up the clear and see if I can break that black and gold up just a tiny bit I'm just gonna focus more right in the center to see if I can push some just clear so I'm going to let this sit for just a second and see if it's going to flatten itself out. It should continue to move this way because I am coming up over the edge here just a tiny bit. It'll dome. It's not going to flow over unless it's grossly overfilled. <clears throat> but I can see this filling to the corner, so I am good there. I'm going to try and get this pair of gloves off and grab another glove quick. I, um, like I said, I don't really want to put any heat on this, but I do have quite a few bubbles on this one. So I'm going to give it a quick, quick with the torch. but I don't want to torch the edges, so, which is of course where most of the bubbles are concentrating. So I'm going to grab a little mini mister with some alcohol. Just a little ranger mini mister. And I'm gonna refill it with my 91%. And I'm just going to go ahead and spritz it from pretty far back. And I will keep an eye on it for a little bit and mist it again if necessary. I'm just going to use these little knobs as the handles for this tray. This came from Walmart, but you can get small ones anywhere. I'm just going to set them in and I'm going to keep an eye on them also to make sure they stay standing. Try to make sure they're semi-even. Okay, so I did this one on a board so I can move it back on the table out of the way easily. And this table is pretty well leveled. When I switched rooms, I leveled it really well. So this one, I'm gonna do kind of a marbly thing, hopefully. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of clear to get it started. And for the most part, this one's going to be filled with just that white dye to begin with. So, and I may have to mix up more white from that reserve clear. 
I kind of measured these molds when I got them. And this one takes about 600 mLs. The smaller one is about four. So I mixed up a full cup of a thousand to start the two of them. And so with the additives, bringing it a little over a thousand, by the time everything is mixed, I should have had enough, hopefully. I'm going to real quick take some of this additional clear and make another cup of white. I shouldn't need, um, and again, the white is the Illumilite opaque dye. I shouldn't need to mix anything of any of the others, so it should be fine too. Mix more white once or twice if I need to. And this one I'm just making it on top of a clear chopping mat from Dollar Tree, so I won't be able to pick it up and move it, but I'll be able to drag it on the table if I need to move it out of the way for any reason. Okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of that white on reserve. I'm just going to swirl this a little bit just to mix some of that clear in and make sure it's getting to all the corners. So I think I'm going to start with some of the black and I don't want to pour it like a ton and I might go over the edge a little bit. I don't want the black to like super take over. Second line down here. Okay. And then right on top of the black, I'm going to mix this. Actually, I think I'm going to go with the pink next. Am I good here? I'm going to drizzle the pink into some of the black. If I get a little outside it'll be fine I might do one or two lines that are just pink on their own And I probably mixed up way too much pink, which hopefully won't leave me short on product. So I'm going to go in and add some more. This section where I dribbled a couple times look intentional. Okay, I'm gonna go back over some of the pink and all of the black with the white pearl, pearl white.
and I'm running off the edge intentionally. This one is going to be a bit messier. I'm not as worried about the white puddling because it'll mix in anyways with the other white, but I think I got them all. And I'm going to come back with the black and drizzle down the center of a couple of those. That's what I didn't want to do, but it'll be fine. So if I was doing this on a countertop with a marble, I would be doing this on a flat, not in the resin. So I would be able to like tamp down on the colors to blend them some. But because of the nature of this, I can't use that exact method. So I'm going to possibly attempt like a modified chopping method with one of these sticks at some point here. I am trying to get the tray filled more. These aren't very deep to begin with, so you don't want um, you don't want to leave it too shallow. And if you leave it shallow, you'll get a raised lip on it. <clears throat> so I'm going to go in in some of these spots and start adding some more white. And it'll push some of the color a little bit. I'm probably going to mix up the rest of that clear into white in a minute after I empty this cup. I'm not sure I want to mix more white. I may actually just run some clear straight down the center of these colors in some places. Kind of push a spread. It is going to grow and change and morph anyways. And I do have more black mixed up. I'm just going to wipe my hand real quick. And a little more pink and a little more of the white. So I'm going to go back over that clear in some places with some more color just to fill. I don't really want to waste any because I know I'm tight on having enough to fill in the first place. I'm just going to do a couple of very light randoms. I need some pink back over some spots.
And that's like, oh, this should be leveling itself some. And just a tiny bit more of that pearl, just to use it up. I'm going to try and focus some in this section. Wonder if I do these little lines. Again, if I get to the very end and this one doesn't feel full enough, because there is a lot of waste, um, I will do another clear coat on top. But I do want to grab another glove quick. Because I am going to be wiping this stick off in my hand. I'm going to give it a super quick torch. Just because I don't want to be mixing in any additional bubbles. So I'm going to grab the white stick to start and I'm going to wipe it off. And I'm going to do, like, a, like I said, a modified chop. Kind of blend the veins a bit. I don't really want to mix the colors, but I don't want to leave them all just sitting loose on the surface either. And that's how I'm going to wipe in between each run. And you decide to drag a completely new vein out. However you want to do it. Now, I didn't want the pink to be overwhelming in this, so I'm actually pretty okay with how the black is kind of dragging some over the pink. All right, so I'm going to carefully, just over white sections, use up the rest of this clear. I'm going to try and keep it moving a little bit so it doesn't push too much. But if I add a little bit to next to some of the wider veins, it should push them back together a little bit. Like it'll push it in. So like this section where I don't really want to mess up what I did, I'm just going to keep it moving. Like in here where this got a little crazy, I'm just going to push some clear. And I'm going to get down and just check. I can see I'm not to the top yet, but I don't really want to risk it. And I'm just going to let what's on my glove drip back. 
into this section. It's hard because from this angle, I can't see what's going on on the top, but I can see what's going on on the sides. So, I think I'm going to leave it alone at this point. I'm going to get this glove off because it is dripping like crazy. I'm going to leave it alone at this point. I had cleaned my spatula after I mixed my resin, but um, for the most part, I'm going to leave it alone. I am going to grab one of the white sticks and just smooth out some of these larger clear spots so they'll get that white marbly look. This one might get a little pink mixed in. This tray would be great for like a um, teenager's dresser or vanity. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone at this point. I, now that I see it, wish I had silver handles, but I don't have a pack of silver handles handy. All I have are the gold, so. This one is going to get gold handles. There's nothing wrong with the gold, it's just. And I'm just gonna, again, as always, eyeball them. Make sure they're in there straight. That looks pretty good. I always get nervous that they're going to flop over on me. I'm going to hit this with the torch one more time. And after this, I will switch to alcohol like the other one. So, I'm going to let that cool just a second. I'm going to spritz the other one over here that's off camera. And I'm going to give this one a good spritz. And I'm going to let it cure. Actually, I'm going to fix this real quick. Do you see this where it squiggled when it in, went in? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to go in with a... stick and work that out. That's one of those pet peeves of mine. I don't like it when I get a section that looks like that. So that is it. I will mention at the beginning of the video, so I will have already mentioned it if I had to clear coat this again, but I do believe I'm going to. It's going to be a super thin clear coat because it's just below the edge, but if it's just a tiny lip, I can sand off with an emery board or something, and it's thick enough, I won't worry about it. So please give me a like and subscribe and keep watching. I very much appreciate your support of my channel.